you know, Q7 front end hasn't been looking great for a while. They get an additional oopsie on this side. So it, I mean, it doesn't look as bad the more I look at it, but I got two doors and a hood and some bumper parts so we can hopefully get this thing back up to snuff. It's not so ugly. Now, first things first, door cards. I'm gonna pull these off because it seems like they're just easier to pull while they're still on the car. And I got, there's a torque screw here, here, one under there, and there's one somewhere up here. And I think you have to pull this trim, which the manual says this pops out and then you slide it backwards. But I haven't figured out how to do that yet. But looking on this new door, somebody snappy snapped it and it's eight and a half off of the forward bolt so there's eight and a half so yeah it's right it's like right there behind this piece so i'll have to get that piece of trim off and this should slide out and i would guess all the button stuff plugs into this little controller it's a pretty rowdy speaker too and who knows what that plugs into oh i bet that's the mirror the heater for the mirror so oh yeah i'll take the mirror off too but yeah it's <laughs> Some poor sap, they broke that one, they broke this one, pulling the cards off. So the boys. Right, so I have a bunch of cheapos I bought on Amazon. And I gotta imagine, if I just start on the end... Oh, and commit. Whoa! So you don't need to slide it, I guess. Oh, it does have hooks. See the hooks? So they, I don't know, maybe that's why there's a little crack here. Yeah, because it's old. My screwdriver. Kid was playing with it. There it is. There's this mystery one. I need to put this camera somewhere safe. It's long. <laughs> I wish. Oh, looks like the best place is the seat. And then this should just pop up and it's out and then up seas. And yeah, so there's a. Oh, dang it, so pooped. That cable unhooks. And then sure enough, there's a blue. See, the harness for the controls is that blue guy. Um, oh, and this has speaker. I wonder if there are different stereos. I'm going to have to change that speaker too. I was able to push down on that thing and get the purple part to pop up and then that'll bring the cam out and you got a door card free so find somewhere safe for that and then look some more at differences and so the speakers both have the same part number underneath that booze but one thing i'm noticing is that this does that even exist on the other one so this is the line Definitely goes up somewhere. That might be for the tweeter, and this other one might be for the mirror. Because that other controller, what's the number of that? Romania something something 4F0959793T. Same number. It's the same controller, but this guy's missing. So I bet that goes to the mirrors for like heaters and movement and stuff. And then this is probably just the tweeter right up there. Now, this is almost easier than looking at the manual. This whole trim piece that covers that part of the door and has the speaker in it. If I look on this side, you know, here's where the screw holes go for the mirror, but there's no like holes for that plastic. There's just rubber and rubber. So I think that just kind of clickies in. Look how thin the paint is there, you lazies. So if that's the case, I would think that this just like snaps out from one end. Really this is the where I get scared because it's an Arizona car. And all this stuff's going to be brutal. Break this, you'll never find any one. Why do they glue them on? That'd suck. I don't know, it's 
and they're pretty tight. So I don't know if it sits it's like down in that rail really hard. Because there's a little lip there. Let me check. They probably have a weird plastic thing that would fit in there. That kind of comes out. It definitely goes in that little channel. Mm. Oh look. So once I got out the outside, it's kind of peeling out of the inside. any right way to do it other than I'm just putting a little bit of tension on it. You just kind of slide and out of rubber. Yeah, nice. Yep, so that is a tweeter connector. Easy peasy. Now near looks like two 10 mil bolts. And then a zippy tie. Balls. I don't have to cut that. It keeps the wires in a nice spot. Shit. Alright, so mirror wire. Pull that red tab up. It sticks up compared to that one. And that'll let you push this down. It should just come out. It's crazy. And it's probably tight. Yep. Out we go. More factory goodness I'll have to redo. Wire. Wire's undone. Yep, 10 mil. Yeah? Okay, there's a secret bolt. So I started pulling on that and it was like, this feels like there should be a third one. So right behind here. Oh, of course it's gonna crack on me. Ah. Yeah, those have little mount, little push pins that in the normal world wouldn't snap. But where's that last one? So to keep the mirror from falling out, I'm going to do this, not like that. Basically the same story on the rear. There's that low one right in the middle. There's two behind this handle and this guy, you pull the bottom out and then it kind of cambers out of the top. And then there's another one under there. So I'll just rinse and repeat from the front. Oh, or I'll just do it with my fingers. Nice, so it should. It needs to go forward too, or rear, rear of the vehicle. Uh, so I'm going to put this, it's good. Um, I don't think I can do it one-handed. Oh, yeah I can. Sweet, I didn't break anything on that one. And there is a light strip under here. I don't worry about screwing that up. Hey, worst things have happened, so. One more. And that should make this one come off, and I'd imagine it's similar to the other one where it's got a little controller stuff plugs into. And I guess that sunshade must just roll up inside as well. I don't know why I'm not using the electric one. Yeah. Yeah. It's pokey. Gimme. Alright, uh don't know if that's frame low or not. <laughs> Maybe I gotta stick a wedge in it. Yeah, that one 
Oops. That was a lot tighter than his buddy. Not too many of those, but yeah. That's it. Oopsie. Oh, it's one of the screws in the door handle. So yeah, same thing. This one's got the red one you pull out and that disconnects. It's got a tweeter and the door comes out and then this guy. So that's got to come out of its little bracket, and it's just a hook. Cool. So there's another card out. Uh, that should be it for this one. Last connection should be the same on both doors uh, behind this little grommet, and it's all smashed in, so it's harder to get to. Uh, that might be easier with the door shut. That should pry out, hopefully without exploding. Just something I don't know about. Camera angles should be awful on this. That's a good look at the other one. Okay, so this has four prongs with little hooks, so but imagine if I'm able to just like push in here. Yeah, it's gonna come out. And then I think there's a pink. Pink. Ooh, a tuna. That tries to put through it. But anything comes on. Down there, there's a white line, so push it towards the front of the vehicle, it appears, and then something else will happen somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if it, ow, it's in my butt cheek or something. It looks like as far as it'll go. Let's see what we can see from the other side. I've never messed with these connectors before. Oh, there's a little tab right there. I heard it click, and it didn't click back in. So I hope... <laughs> What's your secret? I think I need two hands is what I need. Angles just suck, but this appears to angle, and there's a pokey little hook on that side. I think it'll just wiggle out. Oh, Oops. Oh, yep. Out. 
All right, I gotta rinse and repeat on that one, and then I'll be clear to take these uh, screws out and the door should just come off. Here's the new door, and both hinges are gone, and this one's got a little in the metal, so I'll probably give that a little tappy tap of a hammer uh, to make it flat. But on this side, what it shows in the manual is there's a nut. Well, it shows a nut under here, but I don't see one. It says the upper hinge has a nut, and then the lower one has some other bullshit, and it just like slides up and off. But it sure doesn't look like that to me, unless this is a cover. But, oh, yeah, look at that. There is a nut. So you take that nut off this upper hinge, and then down here, I think. Maybe it's this. It showed one going in this way that you take off, but I couldn't tell. I think it's this one. It doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense to me. It just shows it like lifting up. Is there another nut? I don't think so. I'm gonna look at the picture. Messy garage is messy. Light on. So yeah, it shows. So that's that upper. There's the nut. Then there's the spring in the thing. Upper lower, and then it goes through that. There's a circlip. So as I go through this assembly, it goes sideways. Well, here's that little S bendy. This almost looks like the other side. Maybe that's why it's confusing me. Like this looks like the body side, right? So whatever is on top. Nerds. The door is on top. So if the door side is on top. <laughs> so this is the door, right? Because that's on top. This is the door. So it's a bolt below this bracket. It goes through this huge thing into the door. It goes into the door. It's not a top one because it says loosen nut four, move bottom combination screw nine on bottom of door hinge. And it threads into the door. It's on the bottom. Hmm. That one. It's got to be this one. So this is to leave this one in. Take this one out. So it must be that this separates from this. This is the only thing that actually holds. Okay, so I'm going to find out what size that is. This is a Torx of some kind. Those two should come out, and then the whole door should just slide up. And that upper nut. Is a 13 millimeter and the lower is a T45 for this bolt. So I'm gonna do that one first. And these shouldn't have, at least I don't think so from glancing over the book, we shouldn't have anything to do with the adjustments. That should be other screws. Oh, the two did. <laughs> There's like little pushy pulley thingies. So I'll just probably line these brackets up on the other door with the paint marks that makes sense to me and then see how it fits and adjust as needed but i don't know if you do adjustments with the door on or off so it might be a matter of putting this thing on and off a bunch without this nut or other bolt in place just to see how it behaves It'd be nice to know how to adjust it because the other side is a little goofy all right so the theory is i should be able to lift up and the door just comes off. Oh, that was easy. We should just take all the doors off and tell her to rock it. All right. So now that we can see this, I think that one has something to do with an adjustment. I, don't, I just don't know. 
but it's off. So I gotta pull hinges and move them over there. And then we can hang that door and see. But what I'm gonna do is pull the rear door first. I don't want any of this dented, banged up stuff to beat the crap out of the new doors. So we get this one off, then I'll hang the new front one and see how it how it looks. Be nice to figure out. I can probably put that back down while thinking about it. Look how gross it is. We get time to clean and figure out how this popped in because it'll be annoying to. Did something break? Is that why that's white on the side? Is that never going to stay anymore? Balls. Of course it's getting dark and this thing will be full of bugs if I don't close it out. Neighbor Dave was stopping to see what's going on, helped me put the hood on. It's not really adjusted, it's just four screws and some struts. Um, doesn't matter. It worked out and it appears when I look at the light and there's no huge like dents in it or anything so it should work well. So old doors, old hood, new door. I moved the hinges over and just kind of lined the paint marks up. So we'll attempt to hang this thing. Uh, the light, this is just how I have to do everything all the time. Looks like the bottom one does go in. But every time it slides way down. There. Oh, okay. So it's part of the way out, but this isn't cinched up. Right thing to do. Yeah, that's not sitting down far enough. That could be the angle of this causing that. I think I put that bottom guy in. I need my headlight. I need to find that thing. See that big boy bottom screw should at least keep it from flying out on us anymore. Put that one hand tight. And then I plug this in because if it's plugged in, you can't break it, right? You can't pinch it in anything. <coughs> mm. Oh, bugs flew in my eye. Work light. Fuck. I'm gonna kill myself. All right. <sighs> Worst video ever. I can't see anything. What are you doing? How many of you lay on doors in the dark now? Oh, it just pushed the whole plug inside the door. So, at least, well, we'll deal with that later. If I do that, nothing can get broken that I know of. So, I'll stuff this wire down something, whatever. Right, so, probably closes like crap. It's probably going to dump my fender. Do all kinds of nasties. Nothing touched. 
really? To fix actually a gap. It's better than a Tesla. So as soon as the seal it latches. Touches right there on that corner. So, yeah, bottom of the door needs to go that way. We'll figure that out tomorrow. It's not touching it enough that I care. And I think the fenders are aluminum. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. The point is it shuts. So I can hang the rear one. Well, is that sticking? Where's that? Oh, the nut goes way up inside. Mm, okay. That makes more sense now. I'm gonna put that in. Mm. Need to be able to see that one. You need to be able to see that one. Maybe. This is going to be a huge pain in the dingus to start. That's going to be the absolute worst thing on the planet. Okay, I'm going to worry about adjusting that tomorrow. I'm just going to decide that it's okay. Try to hang this rear on so it shuts so the bugs don't get inside. And then I'm going to call it a day. Okay, the rear one hung. Lights on as high as they can go. It's filthy. <laughs> Uh, so moment of truth, like that top nut's not in. I'm just hoping these shut without anything catastrophic happening. Super low, but it latched. So definitely too far this way. That's good because it means the front probably won't touchy touch tips. Let's look in here. Seal seals. That's good. It's nice that you have. There's two seals. So I'm hoping we won't get any wind noise. Everything should seal right up. And then we touch up a tiny bit. Hey, look at that. Gaps suck and they need to be adjusted. And that's black while the rest of the car is gray, but who cares? We'll deal with that later. Point is, uh, stuff, baby raccoons and things won't be living in it tonight. Fuckers. <sighs> Good. Call that a day. Work on adjustments tomorrow when it's laid out. <laughs> 